Welcome guys, I am Laura, and you are watching Car Focus on Jexton Electric. In this edition, we gonna be reviewing the Tesla Model X Plaid. Click subscribe and the bell icon so you don't miss out on our next edition. Today, we will be reviewing the Tesla Model X Plaid. The Model X Plaid is arguably the most insane SUV you can buy. And that's because it comes with three electric motors, producing up to 1020 horsepower. It got insane numbers, 0 to 60 in 2.5 seconds. A top speed of 149 miles per hour can go over 333 miles on a single charge. Let's look at styling. The front has this really neat curved and clean design which is perfect with the red color. The vehicle's headlights and fog lights are all LED and serve as a turn signal up front, giving this car a really beautiful look. Here is now piano black, with the Tesla T logo in the middle which fits the car perfectly. Tesla has made some improvements with the Model X cameras. There is high speculation that Tesla has now equipped the new Model S and Model X with its highly advanced hardware for computer. The camera couldn't get closer enough, but let's check this out. This is from the Fremont factory that shows this camera here on the front fender completely different, suggested to be 5 megapixels. The camera on the driver's side door pillar looks the same, including the rear camera, which means all these cameras have been upgraded. Up here on the windshield, we have new cameras. Since Tesla is switching completely to their vision system, this camera's enhance autopilot or self-driving beta capabilities. The car now has black trim all around it in place of the old chrome. The door handles are all black as well. In place of a single pane glass, Tesla has used double laminated glass on the windows, resulting in a wider window. These also aid in the cancellation of exterior noises, resulting in a quieter electric vehicle experience. On the wheels, we have 22-inch wheels. You can go for the 20s as well. For the prices, the base model is priced at $99,990, while the Plaid Model X is priced at $109,990. Let's move to the back. It has a very huge, beautiful look at the back, and the taillights are also LED, turn signal reverse light all LED. This rear spoiler just fit and look great on the red color. We have the Tesla signature name here written in black, which I really like as it gives the car a spotty look at the back. We also have the Tesla T logo, which Tesla intends to remove, leaving only the black signature name. Then of course there's the Plaid logo badge, indicating this is the Plaid model. We have two LED lights here, as well as a rear camera with increased megapixels. There is a button below here to open the trunk, or you can open it from the screen inside the car. You get 88 cubic feet of storage space in here, with the rear seats folded down, and now you fold the rear seats by pressing a button here on the seat. The headrest folds and you push the seats to finally fold. You get more storage under here as well as side spaces. So you have a lot of storage space back here. To close the trunk, use the power tailgate or press the button on the screen inside the car. Let's check out the frunk. The frunk comes with 6.6 .6 cubic feet of storage space. You know, if you want to buy groceries and prove that your car doesn't have an engine, like a traditional gas car, just open this frunk and put them in, or put your little suitcases as well. Let's take a look inside. We gently press the door handle to open the Falcon Wing doors, and the doors open up, which is very beautiful to watch. They open to reveal a very clean, elegant, and lovely interior with white vegan seats made of sustainable materials that are very soft, comfortable, and are all ventilated. There is plenty of legroom between the seats. Then there's the back screen, which has some new changes that I will point out later. So let's try to close the door. Sometimes it's really scary when it closes. As you can see, the doors are made of carbon fiber and soft materials. To open it, you simply hit this button and it opens. Let's check out the rear. One of my favorite features of the six-seater is the seat-up button. It moves this seat so you or your kids can get in the back. The rear seats comes with two cup holders and two USB-C ports, but this seems to be aimed at children, as the legroom here may not be suitable for grown-ups. Let's check out the front. To open the door, press the handle, the door will open automatically. 
When you are outside, gently push to close it. It closes gently because it's soft touch. The doors are made of soft materials all around and carbon fiber. We have fabric inserts that gives it a premium look. Then of course, we have the door speakers. Here we have the same door seals as the rear, which means the doors close tightly with no gaps. The front seats have hidden microphones and then they're all perforated for ventilation. Meaning you'll have to pump the AC a little less as the seats will keep your back and legs nice and cool. The front seats also have standard adjustment options and lumbar support in the driver and front passenger seats. When you enter, press the brake and the door will close automatically. The Model X center console is wrapped all around with carbon fiber and soft materials, from the doors to the dashboard, to its entire interior. It comes with this futuristic yoke steering wheel, but Tesla is now offering a new round steering wheel as an option when ordering. Yeah, we already have Model X with this new round steering wheel coming out of the Fremont factory. Then of course we have this 17-inch touchscreen which comes with high performance and good graphics. There is a camera here on this rear view mirror which slide up to the glass roof. Guys, check out how massive the glass roof is, giving the interior a light and airy feel. Down here, the car has two built-in wireless phone chargers that wirelessly charges your phone. Then we have this sliding tray with more storage. The center console comes with these two cup holders here as well. This is where the armrest is located and opens up to provide more storage space, making the center console roomy and airy. The instrument cluster display is the best feature of the new Model X. This yoke steering wheel appears to have been designed to provide a clear view of the instrument cluster, which is located directly above the steering yoke and provides all of your relevant driving information such as speed, autopilot, visualizations, next navigation step and more. Then this is quite new, is it a sun blocker or something? Please let me know in the comments. It appears to be futuristic. We have plenty of speakers in this car, a total of 22 speakers. Let's take a look at the yoke steering wheel, which has no stocks, and has all of your controls for blinkers, headlights, horn, windshield wipers, and autopilot, all mapped to touch sensitive buttons or the scroll wheels around the yoke. The left scroll wheel is dedicated to media controls, the right scroll wheel is dedicated to autopilot. Looking at the main screen, it's a 17-inch display which contain all the information to use and control this car. Everything from the climate control to the speedometer is controlled from here, but what I enjoy this time is the tilting screen. The screen can tilt towards the passenger, tilts back to the driver, and then you can adjust it back in the middle. Let's enjoy this new feature. Another thing that is new is that Tesla has now brought drive switch buttons. Look here below these charging pads, we have touch sensitive drive switch buttons. Park, reverse, neutral, and drive. The screen is powered by the new AMD Ryzen CPU, the same CPU found in the PlayStation 5, which allows it to respond more quickly and to be more user-friendly. I'll go over some of the new features that have been added to the screen. This vehicle has numerous entertainment features, including the ability to stream Netflix, YouTube, Disney+, Twitch, Hulu, Sportify, and more. One of my favorite new features in the car is Apple Music. Apple Music allows you to stream over 100 million songs, select any album, and play any song. As I said before, the car has the same processor as the PlayStation 5, so this year Tesla has integrated Steam games into the X and S, making it the most fun car to drive. With a PlayStation controller, you can play thousands of Steam games by purchasing verified games you love from Steam Desk. All of this requires premium connectivity. Let's go check out what's new in the rear screen. 
The rear screen now has a nice and sleek design with a chrome frame around it, where your kids and rear passengers can control their climate, heat their seats, and enjoy all of the entertainment features back here, where they can stream YouTube, Netflix, Hulu, play music, and more. Down here, there are two USB-C ports and two cup holders, which is fantastic. Okay guys, let me walk you through some of the most important functions in this car. Basically how to use the Tesla Model X, so please pay attention. Press the center of the door handle, and your door will swing open for you, welcoming you inside. It closes automatically when you press the brake pedal. If you want to get out, press this button with your thumb or use the touchscreen. To open the Falcon Wing door, press the handle. Press here to close it from the outside. Or use this switch to open or close it from the inside. Your doors are automatic and smart, but it's your responsibility to make sure their paths are clear before you open or close them. Your car is compatible with three different types of keys. Phone key, which turns your phone into a car key. Key fobs and backup key cards, which you should keep with you when using phone key. We'll concentrate on phone key here. Use one of your backup key cards to set up phone key. Turn on Bluetooth on your phone. Open the Tesla app and then follow the prompts. Once set up, as long as you have your phone with you, your car will unlock as you approach it. Power on for driving when you press the brake pedal and lock as you walk away. Click here or swipe here to open your controls menu, which provides quick access to the functions you'll use the most. Tap to create your driver profile so you can get comfortable and save your settings. Reach down to the side of your seat to adjust its position and lumbar support. To adjust the yoke steering wheel, select it on the touchscreen and then use the left scroll wheel. Tap mirrors and use the same left scroll wheel to adjust each side view mirror. Finally, tap to save these settings to your profile. Many other settings are also saved to your driver profile, ensuring that your car remains exactly as you like it, even if you are not the only driver. You can link your profile to your phone key or key fob and your car will automatically adjust to you as you approach it. To drive, simply buckle up in the car with your phone key, press the brake pedal, and then go to the touch screen, swipe down for reverse, and up for drive. Tap here to manually put it in park, otherwise your car will put itself in park once you come to a complete stop and unbuckle. You can get out of your car once it is in park, your car will turn off once you exit and close the doors. If you'd like your car to automatically shift itself out of park, go to controls, pedals, and steering, and then enable auto shift out of park. With this setting on, when you press the brake pedal while in park, your car will automatically decide between drive and reverse according to your surroundings. The intended direction shows on the instrument cluster. Confirm this is the direction you want and just press the accelerator to go. Swipe on the touchscreen to select a different direction. Your cabin has a stockless steering column. Activate your turn signals by using these controls on the left side of the yoke. Press firmly to turn on your signal. It will turn off automatically once your car detects that you have completed a maneuver, such as taking a turn, changing lanes, or taking an exit. You can also disengage the signal by pressing either turn signal control. Press here to flash your high beam headlights and reveal light settings on the touchscreen. Press and hold to fully engage or disengage your automatic high beams. If you prefer to dim your high beams manually, tap here to disable auto high beam. Honk your horn by pressing firmly here on the right side of the yoke. Press here to wipe the windshield once and bring up the wiper controls on your instrument cluster. Use the left scroll wheel to select between wiper speeds or set them to auto. Press and hold on the wiper control and spray the windshield. Your car has regenerative braking, which means that as you lift your foot off the accelerator, it will slow down while recapturing and returning energy to the battery pack. 
It may take a few drives to get used to, but it maximizes efficiency and control, ultimately making driving easier. As you ease off the accelerator at low speeds, your car will also apply the traditional brakes to bring you to a gentle stop and hold you there. This allows for stop-and-go driving using only the accelerator pedal. Of course, as with any other car, press the brake pedal when you need to decelerate rapidly. To charge, point the connector at your charging port and press here to open it or press on the charge port door itself. This Tesla T glows white when your car is ready to charge. Plug in the connector firmly and the T will pulse green when charging begins. To unplug, press and hold the connector button, then remove the connector when the T turns white. Your charge port door will automatically close. More information can be found in your on-screen owner's manual. Open the controls menu and select service, owner's manual, and then search for any topic. That's it for today, guys. You can now support us using the super thanks feature on the bottom of this video. We will be back again for more car focus. In the meantime, subscribe. Goodbye.